Now, there have been countless UFO sightings over the years, but many experts consider this next piece of footage the gold standard. Take a look for yourself. It's just after dark on August 25th, 2013 in Aguadilla, Puerto Rico. The crew of a United States Customs and Border Patrol plane is taking off for a routine mission when they notice a strange pinkish light approaching from the northwest. They turn on their thermal imaging camera to track the object, and this is what they see. Let's take a closer look. It appears to be a metallic sphere moving fairly quickly around the airport. Then it heads out over the ocean where it does something truly unexpected. Did you catch what happened? Let's zoom in. The object seems to splash down in the water before re-emerging seconds later. Even more bizarre, the object then splits into two separate craft. And people, there is no known Earth technology that can do that. After nearly four minutes, the object disappears from view. Now, Puerto Rico is the location for several sightings of so-called USOs, unidentified submerged objects. Back in the 1990s, a Navy helicopter pilot allegedly saw an unidentified dark underwater mass during a training exercise. Another published report describes a similar incident in 1963 during an anti-submarine exercise led by the USS Wasp. They keep talking about these incidents occurring around their aircraft carriers, naval ships. Puerto Rico, long history of interesting sighting, very long history. What makes this video so special is that it comes straight from a million dollar infrared camera mounted on a government plane. There's a ton of data to analyze here. So what do our experts think? It's a credible case, it's a credible video. Richard Hoffman heads the Scientific Coalition for Unidentified Aerial Phenomenon. First question, is the video real? The telemetry you see on the screen showing GPS location identically matched what you had with radar. So there really was an aircraft. Next, Hoffman's team determines the object's temperature to help identify it. They compare the heat signature of the craft to some cows on the ground in this frame at the top of your screen. We broke the video into 256 shades from white to black, all different shades of gray. And we were able to match that up with the temperature of the cows to match the temperature of the object. The object was roughly at about 104 degrees. Right away, that eliminates a jet engine, which emits exhaust 15 times hotter. The thermal signature doesn't match anything that we know now, and there's no sign of any kind of, like, propulsion system on us. Then they figure out the object's size using this frame when the object goes behind a light post two pixels wide. OK, well, the object went behind it and was blanked out. So now maybe it's two pixels. That's why we come up with a, it's about three to five feet in diameter. Based on that analysis, Hoffman says the most likely earthly explanations are eliminated. We ruled out that it wasn't a balloon. It was about 18 mile an hour winds from the northeast, and this object was going in opposite directions from that. So it, it's clearly not a balloon. What about a drone? Our aviation expert, Tim McMillan, is skeptical. How are you achieving flight uh, without an airfoil, without an angle attack, without wings, to simplify that. You know, how are you doing that? And finally, a bird? We took a look at thermal signatures of birds and various other objects, and it doesn't match anything like this. And there you go. It's, it's unidentified. It's not from any place here. So is it proof or not? Well, you might think it's a bird, a balloon, or a man-made aircraft, but it is hard to explain how this goes in and out of the water and splits. So folks, we're gonna call this a UFO. You almost never see an object like this going into and out of the water. That's amazing. 